Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to multiply with parentheses. Now, whenever you're multiplying with parentheses, you're talking about use of the distributive property. So let's just kind of put that in place, and uh, you'll see how it works out. So for example, if you have, let's just say in parentheses, x plus 6, and you're multiplying, let's just say 3, what you're doing is you're taking the 3 and you're multiplying with the x and the 6. So 3 times x is going to give you 3x. Now, positive times a positive is going to give you another positive. So 3 times 6 is going to give you 18. So 3 times x plus 6 is going to give you 3x plus 18. Now, if you have negative 2 times 5x minus 4, same kind of idea, you're multiplying negative 2. So negative 2 times 5x is going to give you negative 10x. Now, you have a negative times a negative that's going to give you a positive. So whatever, you, you know, you, you have this, you, negative times a negative, you will get a positive term. So negative 2 times negative 4 is going to give you a positive 8. So that's going to be the case. Now, if you have, let's just say, x times x minus 10, same kind of idea x times x is going to give you x squared, and x times negative 10 is going to give you negative 10x. So whenever you're multiplying with parentheses, you are using the distributive property, but um, after a while, it gets pretty straightforward. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to multiply with parentheses.